Here's how you can play as the Monarchist USA in Hearts of Iron 4. First thing you need to do after you start playing as the USA, you have to wait until November 1936, which is when the election happens. Once you get the election of 1936 event, pick the second option, the Republicans, which makes Southland your new president. After that, re-establish the gold standard, and then America first. After that, you have to hire a fascist demagogue and start getting some fascist support. And at this point, what you need to do is to go for the fascist civil war path. That means you'd have to go for ally with the silver shirts. And while you don't have to, it's really recommended to go for work with the Bund. That way, you have Midwest states on your side in the civil war, which are basically detrimental for victory. And once you get a 10 million march event, that means the civil war is going to happen really soon. And when you get the Boston Rebellion, that means this is it. The civil war has begun. All you're going to do now is literally win the civil war. You can also work down the Honor the Confederacy focus if you want to, because you can get lots of stability and other buffs doing decisions that focus on locks. And when you get MacArthur offers to lead the government, you can choose him as the leader. I would, honestly. He has American season trait. Sometimes you might get a good RNG and actually keep these states down here. While the ones in the West Midwest are definitely better, these ones are more useful because you can easily walk into California from here, you don't have to cross an entire desert. <laughs> Look at this, I managed to win the Civil War in November 1938. We want to go monarchist. That's not a lie, they're not fascist. So I fired the fascist demagogue. Anyway, once we finished under the Confederacy focus, we can do these decisions down here. And we can do every single one of them except for one. We can't do constitutional convention because that one makes us fascist. So instead what you need to do is not to do that decision, and instead just grant a statehood to one of your other states, either Alaska, Hawaii, or Puerto Rico. I'm gonna go for Puerto Rico because this is cursed universe. Hell, let's give it to Alaska as well and also Hawaii. Now we need to wait for 8 months because that's how long it takes just to grant statehood. Of course, you can start these decisions earlier to wait less. And here we are, Puerto Rico is about to become a state, and when it does, we change our color and our name, and we're now just called America. The Douglas MacArthur is the leader, and with a crown on our flag. This is as monarchist as it gets, and also as American as it gets, because we really should call America, and also because we just invaded a country over some oil embargo or whatever. Once you do this decision, there is no longer a decision to actually go fascist. It's gone, forever. And that's how you can become monarchist USA with a literal American Caesar as the leader.